Comfy Lovers, this is signing in Urmisha Potiwala from UrmishaJewel.com and you are watching the video specially for the beginners in this prologue programming. Now today's topic that I am covering in this whole video is on recursion. So let's quickly go through with what the recursion is. So recursion is nothing but a function that calls itself. Here the function that means a predicate that calls again and again in this whole program. So that is what a recursion is. Let's quickly go through with the words and uh, it's how you can state this recursion. Eh? Recursion is nothing but a technique in which something is defined in terms of itself. In prologuing, you can say it's a technique of using a clause to invoke a copy of itself. So, just function that calls itself. In short, this is nothing. Simply, it's what that you call itself or a function, predicate. So, let's see this recursion in the form of example. So here uh, for you I have written, there's an, in domain I have passed the two variables with the name n, comma nn, two variables of integer data type. And in predicate I have written a function, you can say a relationship with a name called count. And in that a integer I have passed. Now, let's see with the clauses. In clauses I have written count 9 with a full stop, that means it's a fact, count n with a rule sign, that means the next three consecutive or sequential lines need to be true, then only this rule would be true. That means count n will be true only if the right n, n and the count next is all need to be true, then only this statement would be true. Here I would tell you that count 9, simply see count 9. This is a terminating condition. Meanwhile, you have to remember that recursion are such those topic in which you have to definitely add a terminating condition then only the programming will be successfully true otherwise the whole program will go in the infinity loop so let's have a look that how this whole programming will do uh, for this to make you all understand I need to clear you that in the function when whenever any function calls itself everything this is to be stored in the the form of this data structure as in a stack form. So in this you may come across with the function stack. So let's see this how the output will go through in this. So let's in the output I have taken an example uh, uh, count one that means here as the process called unification. I hope you all have watched my uh, earlier videos previous one in which I have already specified what this unification process is. So let's see this, uh, that count, I'll take this as you all know what the unification process is. But still, let count 1, that means count is here is taken as a, as for the unification process, 1 here, the count n, n for the rule sign, where n is a variable, I will bound this n with a value called 1. This is a whole process called unification. In which I can say that, the, what would be the output for this goal? You may thinking that what could be 1, 2, 3 or what's that. So for this, I sh will show you that here in the count n. So count n will be replaced with a term called count 1. So here, see this in the left hand side, I have made count 1. This is going to be a function stack in which I have placed count 1. In the next line, to make this count 1 true, for that there is a next instruction return is write off and I have already stated that write function or you can say the write predicate is always by default true so that means this statement will definitely will execute so count n so here the n has been bound with the value called 1 so it will print the value in the output as 1 then next line is n n is equal to n plus 1 so here n is 1 so 1 plus 1 so n n now will be equal to 2 so here the count will make it 2 still this to make the whole statement true or you can say the rule to be true we haven't got to that reach point that means a terminating condition or you can say the final condition that we can say that the count n is true so for here again the function that is count 2 will be called so here in the stack I will add a count 2 as in the stack itself in an upward direction. 
so count two again to make this count two true so for that again it will sequentially go through with the statement again with the right operation so it will print again two you can see two in the right in the right hand side next again n plus one two plus one so it will be three so here n n will be replaced with three count three still there is no terminating condition so in the function stack it will again increase with the count three count three again the right operation in that right instruction three will be print same as follows four five six seven eight so in the eight that means count n n is eight so this will print eight so write eight so it will print eight then n n is equal to n plus one so here the n value is bound with the value called eight for that particular time period so eight plus one that is nine so here the count nine you can see this here in the function stack i have increased with the count nine but you can see the count nine is what we have uh, we have i have already stated it's a terminating condition that means it's a fact and fact is always true so that means here the whole statement make this all the other function calls to be true so at the end you will print 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then a true because this whole rule of recursion is true say for example i am taking an another example uh, as in goal with a count 5 so here the n is replaced or you can say for the time period it's been bound with a value called phi so it will start counting from 5 6 7 8 and 9 as a terminating condition it makes the whole rule condition to be true so it will print the output as in 5 6 7 8 and then true say for example in the goal if i am writing count with a 10 so that means the initial value it will start with 10 or i can say in the other words that the capital n that is a variable n is is replaced with the value called 10 but after then if you go through with the n n you can see that it will be 11 it makes the process 11 12 13 14 or it will so on so that means the whole statement or you can say this whole rule will be go through an infinity loop so mean value have to check that as i have already said recursion that means in whatever the recursion program you write that always must carry with a terminating condition otherwise this whole program will go in the infinity loop so will not reach to the end so that means this you have to keep in mind that infinity condition otherwise this whole program is very is very 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 simple thank you very much for watching this video and i hope you all like it if you like this video please go and thumbs up and please and go subscribe my channel that is urmeshaidyouworld.com and even you can you know check my updates on urmeshaidyouworld.blogspot.in thank you very much for watching this video for more updates please subscribe and do comment below uh, because your comments help me uh, and motivates me to you know create more videos for you all thank you very much this is signing off urmesha from urmeshaidyouworld.com thank you